Okay, I reserve blended bourbon whiskey. Is that any good? We're about to find out. What's going on everybody? Nathan here with The Everyday Drinker bringing you guys a brand new episode of What's That Whiskey Friday. Today on the chopping block we have the OKI Special Reserve Batch Number 1. Now this is a blended bourbon whiskey. Let me go over what's inside the bottle for you guys real quick. So inside the bottle, we have a low rye bourbon that is 8 to 10 years old, a high rye bourbon that is 3 to 8 years old, 95.5 rye whiskey that's 9 years old, a rye corn whiskey that's 9 years old, and a 10-year-old light whiskey. OKI OK Reserve is an exceptional blended bourbon whiskey with 99% of its contents aged over 8 years blended and double barreled. This special release blends five of the most famous mash bills from Lawrenceburg, Indiana into a one-of-a-kind medley we're incredibly proud to share with you. While I'm cracking this bad boy open and pouring, guys, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button because we are so, so close to that 1,000 subscriber mark. We're doing that 1,000 subscriber giveaway and that's happening faster than you can imagine. We're sitting right at that 930 mark. So guys, I absolutely love the love and support that you are bringing me. But without further ado, let's get right on into this OKI. Right off of the nose, I'm getting this like um, pungent fig note almost. It smells like a, a, a fig newton almost. There's that like dark, like jamminess going on. Almost like a, like a strawberry reserve or like a, like a darker fruit reserve. Super, super sweet. A little bit of cinnamon going on. There's a cherry note in there. That's really, really nice. This is beautiful. My mom had gotten this bottle off a of seal box for me. This goes roughly for that $80 mark. Secondary, it is hitting $400, unfortunately. I don't know why. Um, but if you can find it for that MSRP... At right around $70, this is bottled at 100 proof. That proof point is fantastic. The price point's not too bad. I wouldn't pay secondary prices for it. That's a little absurd. I'm getting a little touch of like a banana almost as well. There's a lot of fruit going on in here. A ton of fruit. I'm getting hit with like this dark spice, like a, a, a clove or like a very, very dark cinnamon along with all of those other dark fruits. But that fig is still so prevalent. There's a little maybe like a, a peach, peachy cobbler going on. Maybe some really light oak. But there's this is very complex on the nose. Wow, that smells so nice. There's, it's almost like um, maybe like an apple butter aspect to it as well. It smells super, super viscous from what I can get from the nose. It smells like it's thick. Wow, there's so much like jamminess in this. This, this smells so nice. But let's get into the palate. It is thick. It is. And it gives you a little bit of a warm hug. Palette, you're getting hit with a vanilla, cinnamon, creaminess. That fig is there. It's not as strong as it is on the nose. I'm getting more lighter fruits, like an apple, apple pie. Maybe a touch of peach. The peach that I got on the nose comes in on the palate a little bit. There's a drying effect. There's a touch of oak. There's a little bit of like um, an earthiness, like um, hay bales. Uh, fresh cut grass, uh, dried oak sticks. There's so much earth in this. But there's that beautiful, like, charred brown sugar with a little touch of vanilla in there as well. On the back end, I get a touch of, like, a raisin. That could be the fig that I'm getting on the, on the nose. It's transferring into the palate that I'm really not recognizing that much. It's got a touch of like a, a mintiness to it, but the cinnamon clove is there as well on the tail end. And now I'm getting this like, there's a touch of like a toasted bread almost as well now. That's so good. Holy cow. If you guys didn't know, OKI is the a partner or it is new rift distillery as well they wanted to get older bottles while their stuff was aging and they brought this bad boy into fruition so oki is new riff going back into the nose there's that touch a touch a touch of maple but that spice is just so prevalent on it 
It smells so, so good, and it tastes even better. This is a fresh crack, and I'm glad I cracked it for you guys because this is really, really good. Mm -mm -mm. That's some good stuff. One thing I wish that this bottle had was a real cork. I don't, I'm not, I'm not a big fan of the fake corks. I love a true, real cork. But hey, at the end of the day, if that's my only complaint about the bottle, it's really nothing. Till next time, guys, it's been Nathan with the Everyday Drinker. Make sure you guys are leaving likes and commenting and subscribing if you're new. Until next time, cheers.